What is up guys, I'm Railroad Preserver 2000 here, and I'm back again doing another video here. And in this video I'm going to give you guys a tour of my LEGO cruise ship. Essentially it is now fully and officially 100% complete, and I'm going to currently, while it's loading, give you a few firsts that I've put into this ship. This is, this is the first ship I've built that is going to have a lot of arcade stuff in it. In other words, it's going to be very detailed. It's the first ship that has the masts to have the ropes there. You'll, um, you'll, you'll see in a minute. I'm just trying to find a way to get it. Sorry guys, I'm really tired. I apologize here. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, that is the entire roof of the ship removed. So where are we going to first start off? You might ask, well, that's going to be more appropriate. It would be fitting to start in the bridge. The nerve center of the ship, essentially. So what you have is your radar. You got your radar and all your ship controls are your essential ones. You got your wheels, your binoculars, radio equipment. The engine room to bridge communication there. You got your chart table with a map. And the kerosene lamp. This some of these elements, guys, are in my real life Lego cruise ship that's of the same name as this one, the SS Warrior. It's essentially the same ship. It's, this is just a major, major revision of what it would have been and could be if I had all of the parts. I've been trying to generate a build guide for this ship, guys, but there's so many pieces that it's, it's unable to generate because it's just so much. Anyway, here you have a computer mainframe that's protected by glass. You've got a radio in here in case the main one and the bridge goes out. You've got your computers for both public and ship attendant use. Here you have a little vending room that has a, vending ma a drink vending machine and a um, snack vending machine. And I'm going to pause the video right quick, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Anyways, moving on from there. After the vending room, we have the arcade. And what you got here is about six arcade machines of my design. Well, at least what in terms of what has it in them. After that, we have the galley, which... A lot of these stuff, guys, in here, like the uh, vending machines, the arcade machines... And a lot of the stuff in the galley that I use tutorial videos to go off of. <laughs> Thank you, Lego Paradise. <laughs> but yeah, the um, the fridge here, the toaster, the cafe drink machine, the kettle, the ovens, and the dishwasher. That is was those are used by t with tutorials I saw from Lego Paradise, the YouTuber I I like to watch videos of when I'm trying to think of Lego projects that would obviously involve some work of his detail. Moving on from there, we have the bar area. Now, this is a custom of mine and the first. I've never put a bar in any LEGO creation I've built. So this is the first one I've ever done. As you can see, you have your wine glasses here, your bottles, and obviously a bottle of either wine or beer. I'll just say that's a grape-flavored beer that someone just obviously left. And uh, just to make it a bit <laughs> high class, you got a... Uh, cash register here that has a $100 bill as the um as the price but if there were a decimal it'd be a $1 bill but hey nothing comes cheap <laughs> moving on from there we have the dining area now there is approximately seating for about oh one two three four five six seven eight hang on 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20 people, 20 patrons. And after that, we have a little chandelier. That's also a, view, a tutorial that was made by Lego Paradise. The funnels above it, these are my creations, guys. I built these funnels here myself. Anyway, moving on from there, I'll get into the roof later. We have the casino, and note there is absolutely no windows. <laughs> I found that little detail out, and I actually corrected it. There are approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slot machines on either side. After that, you have a little game room. I didn't have enough room to, like, literally put any more games in. So, this has a little football table. And, uh, this is created also by Lego Paradise. So, all credit for him and a lot of the stuff you're about to see in these next few areas are go- I have- are made by him. So, he sort of is- so he sort of holds the rights to these creations. <laughs> I just used them because I figured they'd look cool in the ship that was made also as my own creation. Anyway, moving on from there, we have the bedrooms. And now there are nine, I think an eight or nine. Yeah, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's nine staterooms, three of which have three wardrobes. They're the same design as the one, and they are from a tutorial video also done by Lego Paradise, but... Each one is, I tried to make look at diff as different as possible. Here you, in each one you have a red trash can, a different colored chair, a sink, a countertop with a cabinet, and a bed. But these rooms differ every time. They may be a cabinet. One of them may be a cabinet, one may be a, cab a countertop with drawers. One of them may be a cabinet, a mini fridge, a telephone, a computer, a sink, a bed, and a chair. And some may have a microwave, a dresser, a cabinet, and some may have a, pa a table with a phone, a microwave, a sink, the bed. Now, all the beds, guys, the, the bed spreads, I made all have different colors. Some of them are, 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 I made, I wanted them to look like they were met homemade, essentially. Like, have design patterns that we, you'd only find if they were made, at, like, at home. So they, I wanted them to look like quilts. All are on wood bed frames. All have a, a slanted um, pillows. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. Right, guys, okay, I'm back. Anyways, moving on with the tour. Anyways, moving on from that room. This room here has a radio, a letter, a micro and a microwave. I may, to be honest, later on, I'll put in a mini fridge. You know what? Actually, I'll do that right now. Hang on one minute. I think I'm going to try and get
Yeah, that's it. The ship already looks really good. I'm just essentially going in and adding little details now. I mean, it is essentially finished, but I just want to put in, you know, that last, last ounce of detail. Essentially, that's what I want to try and do. Yeah, this table here has a phone and a perfume bottle on it. The last one has a, apparently a love note with a clock beside it. <laughs> Obviously it said on the time in which that letter said, said love notes to be delivered. Anyway, yeah. The last bed I put in, I wanted essentially also how I built this main section of the ship. Since the ball, since the rooms were like essentially bulkheads, all I had to do was copy that exact section of the hull and just copy and paste it in. And I, this ship here, guys, is essentially not its own original length. It was not this long, <laughs> but in the end, I changed it all up so that way it would have more space to put more detail in. And in fact. I was going to put a hospital in. That was also part of the original design, but I completely forgot about it now. So <laughs> the only way to do it would be to cut the ship in two, and I can't do that because there's so many parts now. And of course, also, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know of any way I could pull it off. It, it just, I don't even think it'd be possible, but yeah. Before I end this video... Also, after this, we have the... Oh, also, note the corridor has life preservers in, beside every stateroom. I'm probably going to try and find a way to add life jackets in the future. I don't know, but yeah. I'm going to try and do... I'm going to have, like, a little post that have life jackets on them. Uh, of course, after this, after the staterooms, there is another bar... And now this one here, like the one before it, is also custom built, but I gave it a little neat feature of my own. I used every colored gem, cone brick, bottled, and uh, colored wine glass there was in LEGO Digital Designer. And I have like a little game of cards going on. You got your colored bar table. Has room for two pedestrians, a cash register. And there are three champagne bottles. Now, these are also from Lego Paradise. But I wanted to give them... I essentially built three of them. And after this is the observation room. Now, this room has no chairs, but there are at least... Let's see, three, six, nine... Ten, eleven, twelve sets of binoculars on either side in total in this room. So that way you can look out and just see the... O as it goes by, so I don't, I wanted to give it that little detail, so yeah. Oh, so here, one last brick. That I forgot to actually place, and that is in where this clock is, right there. There's that. This would still f fresh lust with the ship. That way, it's also. Anyways, yeah, never mind. Anyways, here, guys, is the mast. Now, this is a custom creation of mine. Every ship I build, I have marker lights here, but also in the masts. And I mean, I have marker lights going down all the funnels. Um. Normal lights on the sides, just to give you an idea of the ship's width, from light bulb to light bulb. But anyways, moving on from there, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video right quick because this is probably gonna take me some time. I'm gonna take the hull apart, and so I can show you guys the engine room and also the damage control comp compartments but i'm gonna cut the time that it's gonna take me to take all that out out so yeah see you in about one to two, five minutes okay guys i'm back and i've got the hole fully exposed 
Here you can see the backmost compartments. Now I'm going to try and zoom in. What, you get, what you're looking at now is the damage control compartment. Now this, in terms of how I managed to, of what, how I, I was able to pull this off, I had to take out one, two. I had to actually, originally I was going to try and save as many compartments as I could, but for this room I had to sacrifice two bulkheads to build, put all the detail I wanted to put into it. As you can see, there are pumps, there's tools, there's a blowtorch, there's firefighting pumps indicated by those colored valves there. Each colored um, knob, white, green, blue, yellow, and orange, indicates which rooms have sprinklers, but they all go throughout the ship, so... If one area is on fire, that whole area will be able to be extinguished completely. You have a toolbox here for repairs. You got your the red, white, and blue. These are bilge pumps. Secondary, mild, mild flooding, major flooding, and the larger valves. Those are for severe flooding. Now those are to all are to either contain or pump out water in case the if the, those are pressure gauges to tell you how much water is coming into the ship, and you turn these valves to, like, to basically pump that extra water out, either that or into the ballast tanks. But you also have all these tools, spare fuel in case, you know, <laughs> heaven forbid, you run out of power and need extra fuel for the generator, you got them right there. There's about eight barrels of fuel. Now, and moving on from the damage control compartment, we have the heart of the ship, the engine room. And this whole bulkhead here is an is a control panel. Similar, uh, it, it's sort of I sort of based it off Chernobyl almost. Yeah, but it's not a reactor; it's not a nuclear reactor. But this is my representation of what a more modern engine room would look like. And back here is the engine. I d wasn't able to put much detail in. That's my one uh, one regret essentially. And and to be honest, oops, not that. Hang on. Um, I want to see here, can I, no, I can't, well that went well, never mind, anyways, moving on from the engine, we have a control panel here, of course, like I said before, it's like Chernobyl, but I'm going to try and squeeze through all the main areas here, let me get this out of the way, okay, so, okay, so what you're looking at here, over here where, that I have the lever in bl highlighted in blue. That is your um, water fuel a fuel input into the engine. This tells you how much fuel fuel you got, but it's also steam powered too. So you have all your steam gate pressure gauges and pumps and all that to give you any accurate reading for how much steam pressure you got. So basically, the engine, if it runs out of diesel fuel, you can get more. You can pump steam into it if you have to. And also, you have a um, main pumps. You've got bilge pumps one and two here, but they also feed water into the boiler too, so that also works. And um, right here, you have your electrical main breakers. You got your circuit breakers here, and some backup generator circuit breakers here and here, indicated by the yellow levers. Each has their own valve, also for fuel intake, and you got a main steam valve here, and here you have, if the ship's boilers, if there's a threat of the boilers rupturing, this red valve is to instant, you can turn this to like vent off some steam instantly, and the blue valve, that is to bring in more water to feed the boilers, to keep the boilers from rupturing. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the engine room. But, yeah, it's the be I gave it as much as I detail as I could. But in the terms of this, this ship has many firsts. Because I've never built a Lego ship in real life. Because mainly, I mean, there's a lot of these things. I could, because this is actually something I've wanted to build for a long time. Is this a ship just like this? But 
I'm I'm not able to because I don't have the parts. And I mean, if I did, it'd be, it'd take me forever. So yeah, I'm going to now. Um, since I put that those few bricks back on into the ship, I got I can't undo this. So what I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to put the roof back on manually and I'll work my way from there. So uh, I'm going to pause the video and I will see you in a minute. Oh, also, this ship is the first to have one I've built that has three screws, propellers, and has bow thrusters. Four bow, two bow thrusters on either side that gives you a total of four bow thrusters. So yeah, I'll go over that in a minute. So, but for now, I'll be seeing you in about one to two minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Anyways, here is the ship complete in, in its entirety. Now to point out how many firsts this ship has. In other words, the first, what I've done for the LEGO creation of mine for the first time. This is the first ship I've ever built that has not one or two, but four funnels. It's the first one I've built that has bow thrusters, a fully equipped engine room and damage control compartment, and three propellers. It's the first one that actually has masts that are able to have ropes like these. And it is the first to have a arcade, vending room, and casino. And also, what I like that's really a... In, that I'm actually happy about is that it's the first Lego ship I've ever built that I'm actually able to put a chandelier in without it going out of scale. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I present. And this is the SS Warrior, 100% complete. Oh wait, or is it? So I figured, what the heck? To end this video. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I figured, what the heck, I, the only way to end this video is to end it with a bang. FIRE! Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah, look at them yo-yos. That's the way you do it. Just kidding. That was right to reference. Yeah. I love how it makes the funnels just implode outwards. Here, watch this. Since this is the main area of impact, watch the funnel when I blow it up again. Bye bye. All the clock seems out. The time just literally flew by there in a, in a, in a split second. Yeah, I like this shot here, but it's extremely really and really difficult to do. It's a, I think it's a glitch where you can actually see inside the corridor here, guys. This is inside the ship, but this is a very difficult shot. Damage control. Trying to get it centered. Oh, screw it. There. Oh my god, guys, that's inside the ship, and the game is lagging. It's probably gonna crash. Yep! <laughs> Oops! My bad. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can get this. Oh, God. No, no, no. It's probably not going to save my work. Uh, I'm going to pause the video right now. Oh, good, there it goes. Thank God. That, that actually scared me. <laughs>
<laughs> I love this. It's like coming out of the sun.